So India looking to make it consecutive gold medals here. Nick Ant trying to follow Neetu. She had a big, big win in her semi-final, beat the Olympic silver medalist, Buznaz Kakiroglu of Turkey on a split 4-1. Both of them had points deducted. Nick Ant, a former world junior champion. And now, her opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, is the boxer, representing Ukraine, Katniona Tatiana Cobb of Ukraine got past Tursunoy Rakimova of Uzbekistan on a split, 4-1. Rakimova had two point deductions and that proved decisive. No slipping, no holding. Okay. So India in red, Ukraine in blue. Ukraine still looking for their first gold in this year's Strandje. Women's flyweight division, 52 kilos. Cobb trying for that one two early on, almost landed that right hand. Lead left hand there from Nikat. And these two not wasting any time here, engaging the centre rings. He's got the the height and read advantage here, Nikat. And she looks to try and use the jab there and step into the one-two, but she does step into that one-two. Leans in a bit. So as I was saying previously, she takes a little bit of that natural advantage away from herself. She looks to me like she likes to engage at more like mid-range, and Tatiana Cobb will not be unhappy with that. Good body attack there from the Ukrainian. Short with the one-two there, Nikat. And Cobb tried to fire back, but I don't think really landed. Left hand there from Cobb off the back of a couple of one-twos from Nikat. Neither of which I think really landed all that clean. She's up in the tempo here, the Indian fighter, looking to try and push Cobb around a bit, get on top of her and bully her a touch. Referee just telling Cobb that she needs to keep that head up, just past the midway point of round one, and they've put a lot into this so far. In the 100 seconds or so that we've seen already. Short with that right hand there, Nikat, and Cobb came back with the right. As I said, she really does step in and commit knee cap, but she can tend to get her feet stuck a bit. If she did there and Cobb fired back with a good right hand. These two again just exchanging up close, plenty of hooks going in. A right hand there, I think, landed from Nikat. Not easy to decipher exactly what got through there and what didn't. The referee just letting them get on with it on the inside, which is good. That's what you want to see. Lead left hand there from Cobb. And he just puts her head down and swings. I think she's tiring a bit towards the end of the round here, Cobb. The pace has been pretty fierce. Nikat with the one-two. Again, just looks to ditch in the right hand. These two just fall into each other. End up in a clinch on the ropes. And there goes the bell. Entertaining opening three minutes. I go red corner there. 
she's an aggressive fighter, Nikat. As I said, she doesn't necessarily make full use of that height and reach advantage that she's got, but she keeps her tempo high and throws a lot of punches. Four out of five judges going to the red corner. Our judge from Finland going 10-9 in favour of Cobb, who did land some decent blows. For me, pretty clear towards towards red, though. Jab there from Cobb to kick things off at the start of round two. Nick Cat early in the second, just looking to try and keep things a little bit more on the outside. Three punch combination finished with the left hand. Steps into range more there and lets her hands go. I did wonder if that kind of fight that she seems keen to have at times might suit Tetiana. Cobb and the, the answer is it does suit Tetiana Cobb given her skill set but Nikad is having the better of it at that range as well just needing to tighten up the head guard a touch trying to move ahead to get onto the inside there Cobb did so successfully but then if anything was just a little bit too close and when that happens Nikad's able to wrap her up with those long arms. She's trying to do the right things here, Cobb. They're just inching forward, moving that head. Turning southpaw there, Cobb, looking for a nice straight little one-two. Left hand to the body. A little bit of success there out of the left-handed stance. Just past the midway point. Again, a good three-punch combination there. They all got through. She's beginning to have some joy here, Tatiana Cobb. Just keeping her composure a bit better when she gets up close. Prior to that, what's tended to happen is when she does get into range, she just puts her head down and swings. Whereas up on the inside now, She's getting her head up a little bit more and picking those punches a, a bit better. Good combination there, though, from Nikat. Not much in this round. Into the final minute. Tatiana Cobb needs it. Whoever finishes the stronger here in the final 30 seconds could get it. And quite a lot of wrestling. And Cobb just swinging with the left hand, didn't make contact that time. Southpaw again there, decent jab from the fighter in blue. Short right on the inside there from Nikat. Final 10 seconds, nice right hand as they disengaged from Cobb and then dips to her left and looks to throw a big right hand over the top. Well, there goes the bell and that's another good round. This has been high octane stuff so far, this final at 52 kilos. And that was a close round. I thought the first one was pretty easy to score in favor of the Indian fighter. A bit messy in the second at times, but there was a lot thrown again. Tatiana Cobb had a good spell in the middle of the round. And Nikat gets it 10-9 across the board there. I wouldn't necessarily argue with that. Cobb, as I said, had a, a good spell in that middle minute. Maybe Nikat had the better of it outside of that. It was a better round, certainly, for Cobb, but in the eyes of the judges, not good enough to get the round win. So she's got a mountain to climb now, 20 points to 18 behind on four of the cards. And Nikat just needs to stay out of trouble in this third round and she will claim India's 
second gold medal in about half an hour after the success of Nitu, but I don't see any way that Nikant's going to take her foot off the pedal here. Lead left hand there from Tatiana Cobb. Got through. Moving ahead there, Tatiana Cobb, but moving it when she was out of range. Then when she got into range, stopped moving it. You often see that with fighters. They, they know they need to move their head to work their way onto the inside when you've got a shorter fighter against a taller fighter. They know what they need to do. It's in their brain, particularly at the start of the round. And then you'll see extravagant head movement way on the outside. And by the time they get onto the borderline of range, it disappears. Nice short right hand there from Nikat. Referee just having a word with Cobb about a little bit of holding, a little bit of pushing. Rather weary look about Tetiana Cobb there as she wandered across the ring a touch, feet crossing. A couple of tired looking punches and Nikat made her pay for that. And again there, leading off with that left hand, a slightly weary look about it, which is understandable because she's put a lot into this final and the work rate from both of these two has been impressive. Into the final minute. right hand there from Cobb but then she got one back from Nikat and these two just swinging right up until the final bell here and at the bell we know that that's going to be another gold medal for India their second in a row so a very good afternoon session for them two finalists and they will have two wins but a good effort a good effort from Tatiana Cobb gave that absolutely everything she had did have pockets of success got through with with some good shots at times tied a bit towards the end of that third round Split decision in favour of Nikat, so that'll be a 4-1, I think. The judge who gave Cobb the first round will have given it the third as well. I'd have gone 3-0 there myself, which is harsh on Tatiana Cobb to get nothing on the, on the cards there, really. And Lithuania agrees with me. Everybody else has gone 29-28. Three in favour of Nikat. One in favour of Cobb. Good fight. 